What's up, everybody? It's Grim, and I just want to thank 2K for sending me an early copy of WWE 2K19. Big time tag Ooh. team match underway here. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Look at this. Now we have Naomi on the attack. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. the other. It's devastating. She's starting to stagger a bit. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. I don't know about you guys, but I did not expect to see her in so much trouble here tonight. Asuka with the offense. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination. Submission time! He's not going to get a tap here. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Asuka looking uneasy now. But you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the look out, there's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Naomi was a dancer for the NBA's Orlando Magic and hip-hop star Flo Rida. 
So when she came to W. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. And it's Asuka making a move. Shortly after Naomi's debut, the WWE Universe was shocked to learn she was... We've got a cover. And Royce got her there. Hold on. She wants to take this one to the floor. We're looking at complete domination here. Dodges that one. And it's Asuka making a move. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. That should do it. Don't let Asuka's smile fool you. She's always looking for a knockout kick. <laughs> as beautiful as it is, Cole, that is one of the most terrifying smiles. And that's it. This one is over. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here are your winners, Naomi and Asuka. And that's a huge tap out victory there. I can honestly say that a win is a little more satisfying when you make your opponent tap out. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.